<laughs> Just when I thought last week's episode was the best episode of the season, Black Lightning proved me wrong and topped that episode. Well, actually, not last week's episode, the you know, latest episode of Black Lightning. Man, I was kind of feeling salty when they didn't air an episode last week. But you know what? They made up for it. What's going on guys? I'm Purple Boy and you're tuning in to Purple Film. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with Purple Boy. Today we're going to get into the uh, Black Lightning Episode 6, the book. I think it's called The Book of Thunder. Yes, and there's a very good reason for that, man. So I can't wait to talk about it. But if you've been on my channel before and you've watched my other reviews, you already know how I get down, baby. First, I'm going to give you guys just like my review of the overall episode. Just, you know, talk about a few things and then I'm going to get into my top five highlights. Tonight, it's going to be like a top four. I really couldn't get five, you know, out of there this time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just going to talk about my top four highlights at the end of this video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Things got really <laughs> serious in this week's episode of Black Lightning. It does a great job of tackling uh, more issues, furthering, fleshing out its world and characters. Jennifer once again has to deal with the bullies in her school and this time they use social media as so many of us often do to attack her. What Jennifer is being teased about, I know a lot of us, more specifically in the black community, can definitely relate to. I mean, myself, I, I'm a huge nerd. And in high school, I didn't listen to, you know, hip hop all the time. I was always listening to other stuff, rock bands or, you know, what was considered white people's music. <laughs> and even when I got around, even when I, you know, graduated from high school and got around more white people, I was even being told that I was the whitest black guy that you know, that person had ever known. And like I said, it just it just gives me that sort of stigma, that sort of label that I'm not necessarily black, but I'm, I mean, obviously I'm not white either, but I'm somewhere in between. Only thing is I don't have the, you know, the whole colorism thing going on for me. But I do like Jefferson's conversation with her and he talks to her about how no one really can say what the definition of being black is. And I like the fact that there are her, you know, her students and her peers are actually backing her up and saying that, you know, the whole colorism thing and what's black and what's not black, it really should stop. It really is very silly. And it's something that I've had to deal with in my, you know, just, just about my entire, uh, you know, high school, middle school career, or whatever. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys out there feel what I'm talking about. But we find out that it's not actually the bullying and the teasing that gets to Jennifer, but it's the fact that Khalil himself sort of chimed in on all of it. We knew pretty much that their relationship was pretty much heading towards its eventual end. They pretty much set this up, man. They fooled all of us thinking that this was going to be a really cute relationship. <laughs> but Jennifer begins thinking about her relationship uh, with Khalil and she starts to wonder that if she even wants to be in it in the first place. And I 100% agree. No person, no teen should ever have to make such a huge decision to want to stick by somebody's side through something traumatic like that. I mean, you're just in high school. You know what I mean? That's I mean, that's kind of a thing that folks do when they're married or something like that. And even if you, you know, even if she did wanted to stick by his side, that that was going to be a very difficult choice. It seems Khalil's talks with Tobias is really sinking in. <laughs> and instead of being the positive brother I really rooted for at the beginning of the season, we see Khalil being the negative <laughs> brother. Um, and I... I, I just want to say that I think a, a lot of us are probably going through sort of the same thing he's going through right now, thinking that we did everything right and just bad stuff just continues to happen. I mean, that is the thing, isn't it? People believe that bad things always happen to good people, but the reality is bad things happen to everybody. 
I mean, that just period, you know, I mean, I guess it just it just happens, you know, not all at the same time. You know what I mean? We never know what another person we think may be really successful. We never know what that person's gone through. So, I mean, I just want to say maybe, you know, if you're in that position, you know, try to, you know, en encourage positivity in your life <laughs> and be grateful for the position that you're in now. On the flip side, Anissa is doing what Anissa does best as Harriet Tubman, <laughs> and she's protesting against a statue uh, whose existence offends Black America. And so she's, you know, her and other folks are really protesting to try to, you know, take this thing down. Uh, of course, this uh, bear resemblance, I mean, actually, it's almost kind of like the exact same events that happened in Charlottesville. Like this entire subplot and how it ended was very powerful, but I'm going to get into more of that in my top five moments. Anissa also finally comes out in this episode to her parents about her superpowers, but man, the way they did it, I was not ready. <laughs> telling you what happens towards the end of this episode is just proof at how good this show is uh and you know how it keeps surprising me god man I, I hope they can keep it up jefferson in this episode is on a rampage and now that he knows tobias is still alive he will not stop at anything to seek revenge on the man who killed his father before his eyes this vendetta leads black lightning to having tobias right in his clutches and ready to strike not even gamby <laughs> could stop him from making a decision that would change his life forever gamby tries to get land to talk jefferson down from killing tobias but at first she's you know sort of reluctant to do it you know she's had it up to here with jefferson she's like i don't want no parts of black lighting of gamby you guys do what you wanted to do. This is what you wanted to be, then you do it. But she eventually comes around, and when she's trying to talk him down, it's not even enough for Black Lightning to stop what he's doing. She even goes as far as to come to terms with who he is and accepts that she cannot keep Jefferson from being Black Lightning, the hero he's supposed to be. It still doesn't matter. She gives his whole speech, and Jefferson is like, He's just zoned out. It it really, it literally took <laughs> Lynn to be in trouble for him to snap out of it and, and, and abandon his mission to kill Tobias. But man, that scene was so tense. Just a few more minor things. I was a little surprised at how much they showed Lynn in her workplace or in her office or lab or whatever. We never really got to see her in her lab. I'm I'm wondering, you know, now that I mean they're gonna start bringing her in because she's like a scientist or or whatever. So I wonder if they're gonna start bringing her into the fold and she's gonna like just you know accept that all her <laughs> her daughters and her her husband or ex husband <laughs> are all superheroes and she's gonna be the one that you know the scientist behind the group. I don't know. It would just be freaking cool. This would be like the Black Incredibles. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Do Are we still calling things the black versions of something else? If not, then please forgive me. <laughs> thing I got to mention is Lady Eve and Gamby's interaction. We did know that uh, Gamby knows Tobias, so apparently he knows Lady Eve as well. I want to say they were all a part of this agency that they keep bringing up, and I can't wait till they reveal what it is. And um, I'm really anticipating to see the secrets that Gamby is hiding, man. He, I don't know, man. I like Gamby at first, but I don't know, bro. You seem kind of shady right now, cause <laughs> what is it that he is hiding? I can't, I can't wait to find out. And when it is revealed, I can only assume that Jefferson is not going to be so forgiving, especially that, you know, these are the people who had his father killed. Oh, man, it's going to throw a wrench in their relationship. This episode delivered some great thrills, tense moments, especially that beginning scene with the cops were trying to go get Black Lightning. That was that was pretty well done. And the music was off the chain. In addition to all that, we also get more commentary about the issues that matter to black America. All I gotta say is, bravo. What's going on guys, Purple Boy here. I just had to make this quick video right quick for all, for all 
of those who are tuning in to my channel. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming back here and watching my Black Lightning reviews. I appreciate you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But yo, just want to let you know that I had to break this video up into two parts. So I'm going to make a second video for my top moments. Uh, and then the this you know the other video is gonna be just my strict you know review. I usually do my review and then highlights and top moments in one video, but for some reason uh, this video ran a little longer than I wanted it to. <laughs> so yeah, man, just a heads up. After this, uh, actually, I, I might have that my top moments video up tomorrow. So just keep your eyes on it. Keep your eyes on my channel, man. Uh, but yeah, man. Again, thank you guys so much. Just wanted to let you know that. Peace.